Well, Chin, we've heard of gingerbread houses, and I've shown you those all morning, but have we heard of a gingerbread buffalo? I mean, look at this guy. He's huge. And his antlers, you can see the detail in his eyes and his little beard down there. And it's the Yellowstone Prairie Bison. He's adorable. I don't generally think buffaloes are cute, but he is, and he looks great. <laughs> but here with me is Megan Thompson. She's going to talk to us about some of the other activities that people can do besides looking at the gingerbread houses. So something that's really cool here, we actually have a nativity. You can dress up and you can take pictures. Upstairs, we also have nativities from all over the world, as well as a museum that tells the history of the pioneers who first settled here in Omaha. And that's something that's really special about this place. It's a fun Christmas tradition, but also a really special place for families to come and visit. Absolutely. And there, speaking of families, there's a lot of families who do this every single year. We have um, this gingerbread castle, I would say, um, here. And just talk about how families come back every single year. Mm -hmm. So what's actually cool, this is from the Fletcher family. And last year they made the Pyramids of Giza before they made Peter Pan. And so this year they made Harry Potter, which was pretty cool. And even the buffalo was made by a lady named Anita Hansen Dillon. And every year she constructs several. She actually will plan it out throughout the year and buy candy. And that's something that I think is really special is because they look forward to this every year. It's a really fun family tradition. All right, thank you so much, Megan. And I just want to point out, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Look at Hagrid. He's, he looks so cute. <laughs> he's a lot smaller than he is in the movies. Obviously, he's huge if you've seen Harry Potter, but I just thought the tiny detail in that was just so amazing. And the Gingerbread Festival runs until um, New Year's Eve, so you can come even after the holidays are over and still enjoy this moment with your family. And plus, it's free, so there's really no excuse why you can't come down. But there's over 200 gingerbread houses, so it's definitely a sight to see. And there's tons of other activities, like Megan said, that you can do with your family. Chin, back to you.